దేశం గొంతెండుతోంది ఏటికేడు నీటి కొరత తీవ్రమవుతోంది వర్షాలు తగ్గిపోయి భూగర్భ జలాలపై ఒత్తిడి పెరుగుతోంది భూమిలోకి ఇంకే నీరు కంటే తోడుకోవడమే అధికమవుతోంది తాగు సాగునీటి అవసరాల కోసం బోర్లు మీద బోర్లు వేసి వాడుతున్న ఫలితంగా భూగర్భ జలాలు పాతాలానికి పడిపోతున్నాయి అయితే ఇదే స్థాయిలో పాతాల గంగని వాడితే భవిష్యత్తులో ముప్పు తప్పదని హెచ్చరిస్తోంది జాతీయ భూ భౌతిక పరిశోధన సంస్థ ఎన్జీఆర్ఐ భూగర్భ జలాల వినియోగం నీటి అన్వేషణ లభ్యత నిర్వహణపై అధ్యయనం చేస్తున్న ఆ సంస్థ వర్షపు నీటిని ఒడిసిపట్టాలని సూచిస్తోంది నీటి సమస్య పరిష్కారానికి గ్రామ స్థాయిలో వాన నీటిని ఇంకించే జలశోషణ ట్యాంకులు నిర్మించాలంటున్న ఆ సంస్థ డైరెక్టర్ విఎం తివారీతో మా ప్రతినిధి కిషోర్ బాబు ముఖాముఖి ఇప్పుడు చూద్దాం రైతులు ఎదుర్కొంటున్న ప్రధాన సమస్యల్లో సాగునీటి కొరత ఒకటి ఏటికేడు వర్షాలు తగ్గిపోయి కరువులు తీవ్రమై పంటలు పండించడం కష్టమవుతోంది ఇదే సమయంలో ఏదో ఒక సీజన్ లో వర్షాలు కొండపోతగా కురిచి ఆ వర్షపు నీరంతా సముద్రంలో వృధాగా కలుస్తోంది అయితే ఇలా పడే వర్షపు నీటిని పొదుపు చేసే సాంకేతిక పద్దతులు పరిచయం చేసింది జాతీయ భూ భౌతిక పరిశోధన సంస్థ ఎన్జీఆర్ఐ చౌటుప్పల మండలం మందోళ్లగూడెంలో ఆ సంస్థ ఆధ్వర్యంలో రీఛార్జ్ ట్యాంక్ ను ఒకటి నిర్మించింది ప్రస్తుతం ఆ సంస్థ అభివృద్ధి చేసిన ట్యాంక్ వివరాలు అలాగే ఈ చుట్టుపక్కల గ్రామాలకి ఆ ట్యాంక్ ద్వారా నీరు సరఫరా అవుతున్న అంశంపై మాట్లాడటానికి ఎన్జీఆర్ఐ డైరెక్టర్ తివారీ గారు మనతో ఉన్నారు మరిన్ని విషయాలు వారిని అడిగి తెలుసుకుందాం it's uh, very far soon to have uh, a country like india where we have plenty of rainfall every year but because of the high runoff and also because of not enough storage and the evenly not distributed requirement of our water we are stressed with groundwater and surface water availability and one of the region is still more than 70% of the irrigated land in the country is irrigated by groundwater resources which is leading towards the lot of stress on the groundwater we can see particularly in the northern part of the country a large depletion of the groundwater and in the other parts of the country also in the times when we have the less than average rainfall the groundwater situation becomes very uh, uh, stressed what are the techniques developed by the ngri to overcome the water problems in india csr ngri has been uh, very effectively working for almost 5 decades for exploration and management of the groundwater resources in particular and water resources in general we have been uh, developing the techniques and adapting the new methodologies and techniques available globally for exploration of the groundwater resources very recently we have adopted helicopter borne electromagnetic geophysical observations for mapping of the aquifers its extent and the properties these kinds of method the kind of method we are using geophysical exploration of the groundwater had been very effectively in able to provide the locales of the boreholes from where the groundwater can be exploited parallelly we had also been developing the methodology as well as the schemes through which we can make a management plan or decision support tool for sustainable availability of the water for drinking as well as the agriculture purposes for uh, over a water set region or at the basin scale cr ngri over the decades have been uh, working in the different parts of the country to find out the sources particularly in the hard rock terrains here is a distribution of the different locations where we have done the geophysical observations to locate the potential borehole sites and we found that almost 90% of the locations which we have proposed they are successful in the terms of of the exploitation of the groundwater and these all things are done to overcome the problems of highly and very high stressed groundwater scenario in the country what you see in the red color they are the areas where the uh, the areas highly stressed with the groundwater and what do we do we first find out the uh, the borehole 
possibilities of locating the groundwater through the geophysical measurements. Here is a, one of the example where we can show that the change of the resistivity, this is the plot of the resistivity derived from the tomographic images and based on this we can locate where is the fracture zones in the hard rock terrains and the potential area of the groundwater. These informations are used to fed in a model, a hydrological model, where we will be able to derive the availability and the use pattern over the period of time and provide a decision support tool for a specific region. Here is one example where we have, uh, based on the information of the subsurface, we designed a percolation and tank in the Chotupal area and what we have done knowing all the subsurface information the percolation tank is designed in such a way that we can have maximum percolation of water to the subsurface and that recharges the groundwater significantly. Here is a plot which shows how the groundwater levels have been changing over last several years. In 2003, the level was below the ground as much as 20 meters, which decreased almost uh, 10 meters. So just within a few years, having a good rainfall, one percolation tank has changed substantially the groundwater level in a specific region. And this information has been again further utilized to develop a model where we take the information of the crop pattern, where we take the information of the number of boreholes used for the drinking as well as for the irrigation purposes. We use the information which are uh, in and around the surface water sources available and putting all together we develop a hydrological model which can be used as a decision support tool for predicting in the specific region how how much water, surface water, ground water will be available for irrigation and the drinking purposes as well as for other purposes as well. Fortunately, new program of the state government, the Kakatiya Mission, will be one of the very thoughtful initiative where minor irrigation infrastructure is being strengthened as well as the uh, ponds are being rejuvenated. The reason uh, of this is very important. Because in last 50 years, our lifestyle changed, whether for the use of uh, agriculture purposes or for our domestic requirement. In 1955, over the Telangana region, the surface water utilization from the tank for the agriculture purposes was five times more than the groundwater uses. This, the trend is totally reversed in 2005 when we use five times more groundwater than the tank irrigated agriculture patterns. And therefore, using this uh, mission Kakatiya intervention will certainly help in uh, improving the water scenario of the Telangana state. Nevertheless, if we we can add some science-based intervention or science-based information in the Mission Kakatiya's initiative, the situation can be further improved. And one of the situation is like designing of the percolation tanks at village level or the taluka levels and, and those will improve substantially, significantly the groundwater situation as well. The suggestions you are going to give to the to whole the states regarding water management. So as I mentioned that the part of uh, some of the tanks will certainly recharge the groundwaters. But if we can try to put some of the percolation tanks or the tanks which are at the places where we can see that there could be more possibility of recharge of the groundwater using this tank can be much more helpful as well as we need to design decision support tools because as per the uh, the rain water availability in the future as per the rainfall uh, predictions we know that climatic change is going to influence the temperature as well as rainfall therefore the total water availability will also change and we need to have a plan in which we can say that these kind of the crop patterns which are requiring to have 
this much amount of the water and thus a hydrological model in which the crop pattern, the domestic requirement, industrial requirement as well as the requirement for the other purposes are incorporated and projected in the future would be one of the very best way of having a possibility of sustainable drinking as well as the agricultural water availability of the state. I can only say that uh, these uh, kind of the information, this kind of the intervention which we have done as an example at the Chotupal, if it is replicated in the different parts of the state, can certainly going to improve the groundwater as well as the surface water availability uh, in the state. Nela pay pade prati ni varshap niit chukuni bhumi lo kinkin chalani NGRI director choose istunaru. Alage recharge tanku katu kotan chala kela kamani. Aite e tanku ni akadanta akada kakunda sastri. అధ్యయనం ప్రకారం భూమి అడుగున పొరల్లో నీరు నిలవ ఉండే ప్రాంతాల్లో కట్టుకోవడం ద్వారా వర్షప్ నీటిని సమగ్రంగా ఇంకించవచ్చని తెలియజేస్తున్నారు కెమెరామెన్ పూర్ణతో కిషోర్ ఈటీవీ న్యూస్ చౌటుప్పల్